Once a cancer is diagnosed, the extent of the cancer, including its size, location, and degree of spread to nearby and distant tissues, must be characterized. This is called staging a cancer. Staging usually involves a combination of clinical, radiographic, and pathologic studies. A history and physical exam are the first step. However, other studies are usually needed. For esophageal cancer, staging includes a variety of radiographic studies. These include CAT scans of the neck, chest, and abdomen to determine the extent of disease. A CAT scan allows your physician to see detailed pictures of areas inside the body. When coupled with a PET scan, a study that uses radioactive sugar, distant spread of the cancer known as metastasis can also be found if present. Other studies, including bone scans and bronchoscopy, can also be useful to characterize the extent of disease. If no metastasis is found, then one further study is recommended. An endoscopic ultrasound is a fairly new test in our armament against esophageal cancer. Similar to standard esophagoscopy mentioned earlier, this study has the added benefit of an ultrasound probe attached to the camera. Your physician now has the ability to determine the degree of invasion of the cancer into the various layers of the wall of the esophagus, and also biopsy any suspicious lymph nodes that may be present. The information provided by these tests can in turn guide the treatment options available for you. In general, stage zero represents the earliest form of the cancer, called carcinoma in situ with no clear invasion. Stage one cancer is found only in the top layers of cells lining the esophagus. These stages are most amenable to cure via surgery. Stage 2 cancer involves the deeper layers of the lining of the esophagus or it has spread to nearby lymph nodes. Stage 3 cancer denotes invasion more deeply into the wall of the esophagus or has spread to tissues or lymph nodes near the esophagus. Finally, stage 4 depicts cancers that have spread to other parts of the body. This stage usually implies clinical trials of chemotherapy and radiation where surgery is used only for palliation. In the next section, we will discuss the various treatment options for esophageal cancer.